Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning and today. Let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing creation book. And today, we will learn from lions and lambs, kittens and bunny. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6. It says, Wolves will live with lambs, leopards will lie down with goats, calves and lions will eat together, and little children will lead them around. Children, Mr. X was a tabby cat with a patch of white fur that looked like a white bow tie. Lordly and lazy, he had his own fireside basket and a cat door on the back porch so he could go outside whenever he wanted. Occasionally, he'd bring in a field moss to prove he had earned his breakfast bowl of milk. One January morning, nine-year-old Martin rushed in a screaming to his father that Mr. X had caught a baby rabbit and was about to kill it. So, Martin's dad ran out, rescued the tiny gray-brown bone of fur. That night, Martin fed the rabbit as the bunny became known through the rubber tube from his father's fountain pen. The next morning, the baby rabbit was well enough to eat dandelion and clover leaves from the garden, and soon she became the full member of the household. T.R., as that rabbit was called for short, loved to play, especially catch me if you can. She would run under the furniture, but if you took too long to find her, she would stamp her feet to give you a hint where she was. She would also make little grunting sounds when she was happy. TR became quite a part of the family, but she had yet to make friends with Mr. X. So, you can imagine how surprised Martin was the day he found Mr. X and T.R. lying side by side on the rug in front of the fireplace. Mr. X was purring and licking T.R. What brought about this change of heart was quite a mystery until Martin remembered seeing T.R. digging a hole under the catnip in the garden that afternoon. The rabbit still smelled like catnip, which is irresistible to almost any cats. Children in heaven, lions and lambs, cats and bunnies, we lie down together, but it won't be catnip that's done the trick. God, 
our God will have made all things new, and even animals that are enemies here will be friends. This is the end of our morning worship, and children, today we learn from lions and lambs, and cats and bunnies, and we pray that we will see all things new in heaven that God has made. Even animals, they are enemies, but will be a friends, like lions and lambs, and cats and bunnies, that will lie down together. May the Lord bless all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen.